heart stop, time to get away from woo woo medicine. I recently saw somebody touting that everybody should be on cyclic progesterone if you're on HRT. HRT is great, but what do you need to know? Cyclic, continuous, what do these mean? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. So the difference in HRT is if you have a uterus, you need to take two, I repeat, two hormones. Why? Because you have a uterus that needs to be protected, meaning that yes, you take estrogen for the purpose of replacing the hormones that give you all those crappy perimenopausal and menopausal symptoms, but you still need the progesterone so you don't screw up your uterus and cause a problem like endometrial cancer. But is there a reason to do one over the other? Now, you can take progesterone in a variety of ways. People would consider cyclic progesterone if they are still perimenopausal or they are newly menopausal. Why? Because you still make a decent amount of your own hormones in your body. So if you go on continuous progesterone, you may have some spotting, maybe in between, but the cyclic progesterone is enough to release the lining that your own hormones are making while you're also taking HRT. This is essentially making like a medicine made period every single month so you'll kind of continue in that rhythm while still getting hrt benefit the pluses to it are you may get better bleeding control initially until you're closer in menopause or through menopause for a bit but the downsides are you might get worse symptoms of cyclic progesterone and this could be anything from still having irregular bleeding not protecting your uterine lining as much from endometrial cancer breast tenderness moodiness or gi symptoms the reason that you are going to go on continuous progesterone this is a big one if you're menopausal you've been menopausal for a minute or you're having funky bleeding on cyclic now this is ultimately where most women are going to end up is on some sort of continuous progesterone and that can happen in the form of pills an IUD other formulations the reason you do this is with the continuous you're less likely to get funky bleeding you have significantly less like 18% might get some funky spotting compared to 75% on the cyclic version of a regimen you'll also get better protection of your uterus against endometrial cancer that's a big one i'm going to say it again you'll get better protection for your uterus against endometrial cancer and hyperplasia which is an overgrowth condition that does have a risk of cancer you'll also get less breast tenderness less moodiness the gi symptoms on both schedules of progesterone relatively similar the bottom line is you kind of need to have the discussion with whoever's prescribing it for you at what makes sense for where you are in life so that you get the best regimen prescribed for you. But no, you should not just be on cyclic progesterone indefinitely, way into menopause. It is not the safest bet for down the road. And your discussion on HRT should always be moving depending on where you are in life. You're not just stuck with one dose.